now we'll define our earthquake load sorry uh wind load on our structure to do that we'll go ahead define load pattern wx here click modify and here we'll start defining our load pattern so they have two options first of all exposure and pressure coefficient option we have two options the first one is diaphragm base already we have defined the extents of diaphragm in our structure so uh, if we and uh, in the second option exposure from frame and shell object so this is uh, the another method to define our uh, wind load i'll not use that option right now now i will use the first option as default now here wind spread okay so what will be the wind spread in our region it's 135 mile per hour uh, you have to get that value from your reason as per your uh, code then exposure type so for my reason my exposure type is b if i uh, discuss little bit about it here is our exposure type uh, this picture will give you a clear idea on that so it's a uh, value uh, you will get that value in details or you will uh, get this idea in details from code but here uh, in r1 area exposure b then the area not near to our river but near uh, in uh, open trained okay then it will be c and the you can see here near river it will be exposure d and they have uh, details you may read it now i'll just come here and i'll take it as a b then ground elevation factor you'll get that value from code i'm now taking that value as a one then topographical factor so what is the meaning of topographical factor where you are constructing your structure this factor should be calculated and uh, otherwise you may consider that as a one and uh, if you think that you have topographical effect on your structure then you have to uh, calculate that value okay otherwise you may permit it to use one so uh, if you go to code then you will be able to do it okay just see here determine topographic factor and section 26.8 otherwise take that value as a one then determine ground elevation factor ke section 26.9 from here and uh, it's permitted to take ke one for all elevation but you may calculate that if you need it okay and here ground elevation factor here ground elevation above sea level here uh, the value is above sea level and uh, where actually where you are staying with respect to that value you have to calculate that value and uh, you are allowed it to take that value as a one but i will recommend you to understand about that value so uh, i think i think we are also able to take that value as a 0 0.08 cause i am uh, far away just see here ground elevation above sea level so you have to see that what is your uh, level I mean what is your city's level or where you are uh, constructing your a structure what is its level actually so you have to find out that level then from here suppose if your uh, uh, level is from uh, ground elevation above sea level so from your country sea level you have to find out that height that how much height your location is then you have to find that value so i'm taking that value as a one or uh, you may be able to find out that value from here it's section 26.9 nothing to worry i will uh, provide that documents in our course so i'll take it as a one both as a one now 
gust factor. Also, you have to find out that true value, gust factor and directionality factor. I am taking the default value, but for your case, you have to do it. Here, wind directionality factor KD. Uh, see, a main wind force resisting system as uh, we are taking or building as a main wind force resisting system. That's why we'll take this value as 0 0.85. Here, 0 0.85. And uh, in your code, you'll also uh, guess factor. You have to calculate that about for guess factor. So I I will request you to study your code for that. Now height. So from uh, ground floor to height here, yeah. and include parapet wall if you think that you will provide parapet all around or uh, your building top i mean in your top floor otherwise uh, we may use a grill or uh, something will not will not uh, give any barricade to your wind and here uh the case okay so uh you'll get that value from 27.328 so i'm taking all set here okay for all set i'm taking create all set and if you take your mouse you'll see that value here this is actually nothing but uh the ratio of your wind force attack and here e1 and e2 should be 0 0.15 0 0.15 and also you'll get that value from here see it's already given from that figure you will get that value now wind pressure coefficient so from where you'll get wind pressure coefficient here this is the value for wind pressure coefficient you are able to provide that value manually or you are able to calculate that value manually but what we'll do we'll uh, go for you may go for program determined address user specified okay you have two options you may go for program determined otherwise you have chance to use that value manually so i will uh, give that option to program determined as per our software uh, actually uh, to determine that value we need length and width of the test texture so i think if we provide pro program determined it will be better because uh, if we provide pro program determined, our software will determine this as per this code automatically. So nothing to worry about it. And the most important thing, wind reaction and exposure width. Here, if I click here and here, you will see our uh, the value of diaphragm is available here. And the uh, direction angle here, if you provide zero, that means in X direction. And if you provide 19, 90 that means y direction so i'll provide here zero and okay for x then uh i'll take copy of that value then okay again for y direction i'll go here and i'll just provide that value and every value are same as our previous i'll take that as previous and everything will be same it will be program determined 1.5 1.5 uh, i mean on 5 1 5 create all set and modify this as a if you may click here to see it otherwise you want to do it that provide 19 then okay that's it that's it actually and uh, if you see here something if we provide at zero see this width and depth are changing if we if we provide here 19 it's also changing right so uh when will provide 90 that means it will give a wind direction for wide uh, wide direction then okay and when everything is okay just click okay that's it we have provided white and the, the both both value we have defined it
okay now i'll click okay that's it so when everything is okay we have we have to define another thing what is that that is if you go here for load combination if i go here ev so what is the meaning of ev ev means our ev means vertical earthquake load so we have to calculate that value vertical earthquake load we have to calculate it so to calculate that uh okay so uh, um in our next lecture we'll do it thank you thank you very much